Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the famous iodine clock reaction. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is the iodine clock reaction kit. If you look in the descriptions, I put a link where you can get that. So this is a really awesome experiment um, as you can get it online as I showed you the description. You're, you're going to start off and you're going to add chemical solutions to two different cups, which I marked A and B. Both cups come with the, uh, with the kit. I've already poured 40 milliliters of distilled water in each cup and then in cup A I'm going to add two small scoops of the sodium iodate. Um, the, the little measuring cups come with the kit so it makes it very easy and you're going to put those into uh, cup A. Um, you can just pack that down a little bit and then you're set. And then like I said there's 40 milliliters of distilled water in each uh, cup. Now for cup B, I'm going to add uh, one scoop of sodium sulfate um, and four scoops of citric acid. So uh, all these chemicals uh, come really um, uh, nicely in small little uh, containers and they're labeled very well. And so um, you use the scoops and you're going to put these into uh, B and we're going to do four scoops of the citric acid and I did one scoop of the sodium sulfate. Um, the directions are inside the kit so it makes it very easy. Um, to do this experiment and you could do it over and over um, as I've only bought one kit and I've been using it for well over five years. So once you get those in um, then we're going to uh, take our liquid starch. It comes with the kit. Um, you're going to give that a really good shake. You want to shake it up very well and then you're going to put eight drops um, into cup B and then we are going to stir both cups uh, very well. Now we're going to uh, stir these up with popsicle sticks. Um, you got to make sure that all the chemicals are completely stirred up. You don't want any of the chemicals still in the bottom. You can see it. Um, so stir those very well. And um, what you're going to have to do is supply yourself a plastic clear cup that I will bring in. Uh, we're going to pour both A and B into one single cup. And they do not supply this cup in the kit. So you're going to need to get one yourself. And so I got one right here. And once we put the cup out, we're going to pour A and B into the single cup in the middle at the same time. And in about 15 to seconds or so, it's going to do a complete uh, reaction, which is hence the name, the iodine clock reaction. So we get both of these, pour them in, and then give it a little swirl. Um, and we shouldn't see any color uh, if we didn't mix it completely right. So we're seeing a little bit of color on the bottom. So it could have mixed it a little bit wrong, not enough one of the other chemical. So we're coming close to about 10 uh seconds um and we're getting really close fifth 11 boom there <laughs> it goes beautiful all right and the science behind this is iodine has two different oxidation states where one iodine molecules have a negative charge and the others where they have no electric charge so only the iodine with the no electric charge can combine with starch to make the blue black color when solutions A and B are first mixed, all the iodine have a negative charge. When the two separate reactions begin, reaction 1, oxidation, changes all the negative charges to the no electric charge, but reaction 2, reduction, is faster and it changes the negative charge right back to the electric charge. So it has no chance to combine the starch. The iodine zooms back and forth between two states of thousands of times a second. Of course you can't see this until all of a sudden the chemicals that make the reaction 2 happen are all used up and then it's time for reaction 1 to change all the, the negative back into the electric charge the last time and it combines into, with the starch and then you have ink. And that's the famous uh, iodine clock reaction. So if you ended up blinking, you're going to end up missing the whole reaction. It's that quick. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up or share. Um, I do a new video every day. And thanks for watching.